Listen, you have to know something. Yeah. Everybody here, any human being in this area, on all the world, not against so peace. Everybody like life. Even Hamas in Gaza, they like life. They like peace. But peace, not like what you want. What of sir? If I want to buy something from you, mm -hmm. if I get it for your price, and I am happy for your things, I will buy it. So our situation here, what's going with the Israeli, we are not against of Israel as people, Jews. We are against of occupation. If you remember what's happened with Russia and Ukraine, look, one year, Russia, they have a problem, and they're afraid from NATO come close to, they're going inside Ukraine. All the world, and all the arming of the world against of Russia. How come I am refugee in my land? Why I'm lost my house? Did I make something for Israel? Did I, uh, did my, uh, Hitler was my cousin? Did I make anything for the Jewish in the world? My, me and my family and the Palestinian. Do you have hope for peace? My age is 50 years. <laughs> I have seven kids. No hope. If I told I have hope, I'm Jew. And if you want to say the truth, there is no justice in the world. If you are strong, everybody afraid from you. If you are not, everybody kill you. They make you like this by your foot. That's what's happened. There is no peace, my friend. If you want to see the peace come to our camp where I live, you will cry. You will cry, you see our peace. What are the conditions like in the, in the camp? My friend, they're waiting for water, water. You know what's been water? Yeah. In Europe, the dog, he lived in, in good condition. Dog, animals. How come a human being no have water, water to drink? I asked you about anger, what about love? You got love in your heart? Well, I love everybody, even the Jewish. They kill us, they destroy uh, our houses. I'm not looking to fight, I'm not looking to kill. I am against violence. We love your kids to live in, in good condition, the Israeli side and the Palestinian. We are against the violence. We don't want to see more blood. We want to destroy this wall. You come to me, I come to you. That's it. That's my hope. Thank yeah. you, my brother. Thank English you. not so nice. No, it's pretty good. <laughs> Hello, friends. I recently traveled to the West Bank and spoke with many Palestinian people there from all walks of life. There was anger and there was hope in their voice, in their eyes, in their stories, in ways that I probably can't express with words. But I wanted to begin to experience directly. Most conversations were offline, but a few were on camera, and I include those latter ones here in this video. I'm not a journalist, nor a documentary filmmaker, just a fellow human being trying to understand the struggles and the beauty of other people. And I just sometimes might bring a camera along. So I ask for your forgiveness if I fall short of what I could have done with this opportunity. I work hard to improve and I will do many more videos like these. I love you all. So I think a lot of people would be surprised to see a Palestinian who's a Christian. Yes. Is there a sure. tension in that? Yes. Can you explain yes. what it's like to be you? Yes, <laughs> it's actually because I've been uh, to America and once when I was there and I said that I'm Palestinian Christians. Yeah. And they, how, how come you are Palestinian Christians? They don't know that in Palestine there are Christian people. Mm -hmm. Palestinian Christians are exist since uh, Jesus was born. Mm -hmm. The house that I live in, it, it's 200 years old. And it was my grand-grandfather who lived in this, and my grandfather and my father and me in the same house. Mm -hmm. In this area, in Palestine especially, you can see Christians and Muslims together, living by side by side, and as a neighbors. As we go to the universities together, we work together, we do everything together. What aspects of life is made difficult here because of the tension between Israel and Palestine? Yes. Actually, since Jesus was born, it was occupied by many. Till now, uh, occupation after occupations, we passed uh, Palestine through uh, the Turkish, the, the British, Egyptian, Jordanian, and that was the last is uh, the Israeli. So there's quite a bit of tension between the various religions here. Yes. W what gives you hope for the that's, future? That's right, yes, because uh, you know, uh, Christianity, Muslims, and uh, Judaism, and which is, means uh, that all praise the Lord. This makes me feel very happy because I'm not the judge to judge the other uh, 
religious. I'm, I'm just pray, uh, praying and God will judge everyone as what he believes. But the most important thing between the three major religions uh, is just to have most important, to have love. First of all, how long have you lived here? My father was a second generation refugee. I'm a third generation. I'm my grandfather first to live in 1948. What does it mean to be a refugee? Refugee, that, uh, that's a long story. You know, Palestinians, they became refugees in 1948, when, you know, they lost their homeland, they became refugees. A lot of them live in Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, and everywhere in Palestine. You know, mm -hmm. Palestinians get divided to West Bank, Gaza, East Jerusalem, Jordan Valley. Do you have hope for peace in the region? Of course, I do have hope, because nothing lasts forever. You know, you know what that means? Nothing lasts forever. We are not alone. We have a lot of solidarity from the Jewish community, from the Christian community, from the whole world. But something that's something to do with the governments and politicians, they are, you know, trying to control over. One state, equal rights, equal citizens, because Jews, Christians, and Muslims, they have always lived together during the British mandate, during the Ottoman time, for decades. The only hope for people to live peacefully together, it's related to one word, which is occupation. If the occupation ends, there's no reason for Bosnians to fight, there's no reason for Bosnians to throw rockets, but people, I think they have a legitimate right to resist Palestinian people in general. They are nice people, not what the media says about us. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, when you resist, they call you a terrorist. It's a crazy world that, that we live in. It. We are in the 21st century and we're still occupied. So one day, that's why, again, I, like I started saying... Uh, Nothing lasts for, forever. Exactly. <laughs> Eventually, this occupation will end. And I do believe that history is repeating itself, but it seems to me people, they didn't learn from the history, you know? Mm -hmm. Right? People who get the power, they want to just keep going on, you know? But at least we are not alone mm -hmm. in this damn world. <laughs> How long have you lived here? I lived in this city, I born in this city since I born until now I grew up in this town. There are a lot of people that have anger towards Israel, hate but towards Israel. I will give you an example. Like if someone come to fight your family and to enter your home, you will stand closing your hand. If someone killed your brother, killed your father, you will be uh, easy, you will be as, as sober crazy. Mm -hmm. This is what's happened for the Palestinians. A lot of Palestinians was killed for no reason. What gives you hope about the future here? I'm tell you something. The situation is getting worse and worse and worse. Today they close all over around Bethlehem because uh, there's something happened. There's a fight between Palestinians and Israeli. And if you go all over around the city, all the entrance of the city, it's a close. Second thing, I want to tell you something. I don't like politics so much mm -hmm. because, you know, in the end, we are all human. Doesn't matter if you are Palestinian or Israeli or Russian or American. Doesn't matter what your religious, mm -hmm. Christian, Muslim, you. In the end, we are, all, we are all human. What we want, we want just peace. We want to live in peace. We don't want any more fight. We want to have our freedom to travel to go wherever we want. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Palestinian scar. Scar. Speed me. Yes, it looks good. What's uh, tell us about the coffee? I make very good coffee and very good tea. Uh -huh. I make the tea with mint, yeah. cinnamon, sage, thyme, ginger, coriander, rosemary, yeah. lemon, two seeds of cardamom, and rose. <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> this is for his job. This is very good for working in the night. You know what does it mean? Yeah. Yes, I know what it is. King of the jungle. <laughs>